My ancestor, Adam Chisholm, was forced to leave his home country, Scotland, and travel to America as a teenager. Adam Chisholm was born in Scotland around 1695 into a period of contestation between England and Scotland. The two countries were fighting over control of the crown. Many rebels in Scotland wanted control through the Stuart monarchy, with King James VII and later through his son, while England wanted King James's nephew, William, for king. England did not want a Catholic monarch, and King James was Catholic, while William was the Protestant. In 1715, a group of rebels organized and attempted to overthrow the king and replace him with James of the Stuart monarchy. The group was labeled as Jacobites, and England quickly and easily deployed an army to shut down the rebels. The Jacobite army was a group numbering around 2,000, made up of poorly trained commoners. My ancestor, Adam Chisholm, was among them. The rebel group did not stand a chance against the English army, which consisted of 3,000 well-trained men with proper artillery. The English army attacked the Jacobites in the town of Preston, England, and within two days, the Jacobites had surrendered and were captured. In order to completely shut down the rebel threat, England decided they would deport the Jacobites to the colonies where they would serve as indentured servants. In just a few months, the Jacobites left on ships from Lancaster to go to America. Adam Chisholm left Scotland and his family behind on June 2nd and traveled on the ships Elizabeth and Anne. The trip usually took three months and would have been miserable with poor food, supplies, and little substance, along with the fact that they, that there were often too many men on one ship. Upon hearing the news of the incoming men, the southern colonies created campaigns to try and receive as many men as they could. The southern colonies were practically begging for these men because they were white, and at this point in time, the slave population outnumbered that of the white population. Also, the colonies did not care about the wars between England and Scotland, so these Jacobite prisoners would not have to endure any negative stigma against them and were given a chance to start a new life in America. Adam Chisholm was taken to Hanover County in Virginia and was most likely indentured to Mr. William Morris because he witnessed his will and was beneficiary to that will in 1745. If he was not indentured to Mr. William Morris, he was definitely indentured to someone of means and influence because all of his sons were educated and they married educated wives. Adam Chisholm did not marry until around 1725 because his servitude lasted for seven years. He had three sons and they all remained in Hanover County. Adam Chisholm died in 1756 at around the age of 60. The family did not leave Hanover County until the fifth generation when Oscar Fitz Allen Chisholm moved to Louisa County. Adam Chisholm's story is remarkable to me because he was around my age, 19 years old, when he joined rebel forces to fight the powerful English army and then was exiled to the colonies. I'm curious to know his opinion on his story and how he managed to make a life for himself in Virginia. I can only imagine the transition from Scotland to the colonies was a difficult one and that being an indentured servant was strange and foreign. I have always felt a strong joy in being from Virginia and I would like to believe that Adam Chisholm, my first ancestor to live in Virginia, did as well.